Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. With the Sunday Best Stage as their backdrop, these two dynamic singers have fought in faith to the finish line. With voices that can shake the room and shift the atmosphere, these two gospel powerhouses are bracing for America to make their final choice on the Sunday Best Season finale next week. Take a look. Wonderful. Joshua Copeland and Melvin Crispo the third. Come on now. Yes. Hi. Come on, come on. Come on, sing now. How are you? What are you doing, baby? I'm doing well. I'm just going to get a little bit. <laughs> now, you all Thank sit you down so and, and make yourself at home. We'll do, we'll you know, do. We're not oh, judging man. you on today, okay? We're not judging <laughs> hey, we you. we appreciate so you, that. You right? can just relax, baby. Just kick off we your shoes it. and relax. Yes, My God, you guys sing Sunday Best down to the Ooh. floor. I got to tell you, I want to give you a huge compliment because I know it's so challenging. What you guys have overcome and went through is just amazing. Ooh, so awesome. congratulations Thank to the you. both of you, Thank even you. at this point, okay? Thank you. But now, down to the church. Now, you know the people. People, you got to come correct at the church. You know, you got to have, when the, you know, the first lady's got the big hat. That's and everything. right. That's right. right. Yes. How do you guys make your fashion selections when you're going to church weekly? Wow. You want to go first? You want me to go first? I don't have to. <laughs> Listen, well, it's, it's a little, you know, you got to be, you just got to know what, what, what audience you're going mm -hmm, towards. Mm -hmm. and, and you just you just base it on that. You kind of just base it from that point, mm -hmm. basically. How about you? Yeah, I would pretty much say the same thing. Um, you know, just... Just I, whenever I like to go out, you know, to, to sing with people, I like to make sure that I am um, in 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 unity with whoever I'm going to minister right. with because right. we want to be on one accord. You want to be just, in theme. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, right. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, then. Joshua. Yes. Now, you tried out for a Sunday bus several times before you made I it this have. season. So what adjustments did you make <clears throat> coming on to this season than you did uh, Pre previous, prior? Right. My previous years, I feel like personally I had, I had to grow up. Mm. Um, In what way? Um, I guess I would say, you know, mature level. Just, you know, vocally. Mm -hmm. Had to mature and vocally. Just just, just to grow up in the, in the, you know, so that I would be ready. Mm -hmm. I felt like now, I feel like now, when I did it before, I wasn't really ready. I thought I was ready. But because when they sent me home, you know, I felt down and I was, mm -hmm. you know, but now that I'm in this place, I see at this point I wasn't really ready. You could have given up a long time ago. What yeah. was it about... What drew you to Sunday's Best consistently? Um, what drew me really was my family, my wife and my brother. Mm -hmm. um, my wife was pushing me, baby, you got to do it, you got to do it. Yeah. And, you know, as a man, you kick a man down one time, I'm out, I'm not doing that again, we're good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so my wife just kept pushing me, baby, you got to do it, you got to do it. And so I just went on and did it. I was yeah. like, okay, just, let's do it. Melvin? Now, uh, for you, you mm -hmm. have, uh, you, you both, you lost your, both your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. How do you, what do you pull from their legacies when you're getting on that stage and how do you pour it onto the stage? Um, what I pull from, you know, the legacy of my parents, they, they were all about sharing the gospel. They, mm -hmm. their, their, main, their main focus was delivering the word of God to the nations. So, you know, whenever I, Whenever I get up there, you know, my thing is to channel, you know, to I want the world to know the God that I know. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what that's what I pull on to, to yeah. minister. Yes. Oof. See, I know it's, it's one thing to get up and sing right. and and to sing your truth and to sing through God's word. But it's also another thing to, to stand up there and be judged. Mm -hmm. right. yes. So right. while you're up there and you're singing and you're singing through your heart <clears throat> and <laughs> you're being judged, but what lessons do you take from it? What do yes. you learn mm. while you're up there on that stage? Wow, you actually, you, you learn a lot. You, yeah. There's so much to learn from, the, from the, this experience. A um, few of the advices that Kurt Franklin has given us, oh man, I would always cherish. One yeah. of the things he said was, you have to engage in your audience. Don't get yeah. caught Ooh. standing flat foot and just, we all can flat foot sing but don't get caught in just flat foot and singing. Mm -hmm. You have to minister and you have to bring in the people so they can feel, relate to what you're singing about. Mm -hmm. no. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> um, Jonathan, you know, McReynolds said um, that 
when you're singing, you know, you don't want to do too much to where you you lose your audience to where they can't sing with you. Mm -hmm. And you know, you want to make sure that your audience can can worship with you yeah. instead of just watching you worship. Right. You know? right. So that's that's one thing I really took that, that helped inclusive. me. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right. So now, America has taken us from three finalists to two. Give us briefly that moment, the emotions you both were feeling at that time, <laughs> when you learned that it was you two. Oh, man, well, first of all, I was grateful. <laughs> yes. I was grateful. Yeah. Standing up there yeah. before, I was just like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, don't let me pass out on this stage. Yeah. Because I was grateful. Because I felt myself doing a little spin around yeah. and I was floor. But, you know, I, but now that it's just me and my nephew, I call him my nephew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just... It, it's, it's it's humbling. How it's about humbling. you, Melvin? Me, I I, I thought I was I thought I was going home. Yeah. You got two amazing amazing artists, um, and you know, just who are who are you know, f further along in mm -hmm. their in their walk and everything. Um, but it, you know, it, it was just an exhilarating feeling. Yeah. I was so grateful. Yeah. So grateful. All right, both of you, 15 seconds. Tell America why each of you should be the next Sunny's Best Winner. Mm. America, where, where am I looking? <laughs> America, I want to be the next Sunday best because I, I want to help you follow Jesus, find Jesus in a new way. Um, we have we have done things the same for years upon years upon years, but you know, and, and, and people are getting weary of it. Um, but new ways are coming. All right, now, Joshua. America, I want you to vote for me. I don't know. What where am I? Uh, you're you right there. Right 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 right. Talk to the people. <laughs> yeah. I want you to vote for me because I want to be the one to help you and lead people back to Christ. There, I there's, love that. there's, there's been so much going on in the Christian world. Yeah. I want to be the one to lead you back. Jesus All right, well, now. people, you heard it right here first on Sister Circle Live. And thank you so much, Melvin thank and Josh, you. for joining thank us. You. Listen, thank you please, service. we wish you both the absolute mm -hmm. best of tonight. Please tune in on Sunday at 8 p.m. on BET to find out who's going to take the crown. Well, I can't wait. The conversation always continues. Sister Circle TV, all social media platforms. <laughs>